For tonight's severe weather, quick moving storms caused some downed trees across the metro area on Friday. While cleanup was underway earlier, Mackenzie Nelson spoke to people hoping to catch a break before the next round of rain. You just never know when a limb's going to come down. These guys got their chainsaws going early Saturday. Well, we're just trying to do it when the weather's good. Cleaning up what they can before the next round of storms. If you're crackling, look up. Part of this big tree came crashing down early Friday unexpectedly. I thought that looked like a healthy tree to me, and that, that concerns me as to how do you really determine whether your trees are healthy or not when they're green, but yet a large wind comes by and knocks it down. Bob Pape says the branch blocked off parts of Antioch Road. After the Public Works Department moved it, they got to work. Oh, I said, well, yeah, I'm in. I'll come over and, and assist as well. Pape and Al Frisbee are Merriam City Councilmen. While it's not their house, it's their fellow constituents, David Neal, who happens to be out of town. It was an opportunity for us to do it. We're healthy and we have chainsaws, and so we were able to come do it, and we're just glad we could help out. They're chopping away at the work. But the sidewalk clear is what we're trying to do at this point, and eventually we're trying to get the rest of the tree. And hoping incoming storms don't add to the pile. Severe weather is always a concern, no matter, no matter what. And you know, we just hope that we don't have more damage. In Merriam, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News. It's a good idea to check your trees ahead of a storm. A hole in the trunk, missing bark, and deep cracks are all signs it could be in danger of falling. Remember, you can keep track of the storms even when we're not on the air. Just download our Storm Shield app.